For a long time, I wasn't a tea enjoyer. My family would make iced tea for dinner sometimes, and I'd drink it, but I didn't think it was anything special. In fact, I kind of disliked it, since the ice in the tea would often melt, making it taste watery. So I eventually switched to drinking iced tea without the ice, which is often referred to as tea. And I liked it more than, but still, it was like a water cigarette. I felt very little. Early on, the only notable tea-related moment I had was when I was playing Bowser's Inside Story. In that game, there's a scene where Toadsworth has a tea break, and it suggests that you take a tea break as well. And I remember taking his advice. My family and I sat sat down and drank tea together. My cousin was visiting at the time too, so I got to chat with them. It was a good time. A very pleasant memory. The tea was mid though. Still wasn't a tea enjoyer. I don't know if there's any inciting incident for my tea enjoyment era. One day I just started drinking. I got a cup, I got some liquid, used the microwave for a bit. I had a tea bag involved in the process at some point, and it was great. A lot of people disrespect the microwave, but for a long time that was how I heated tea. I simply did not care. Social pressure would not prevent efficiency, although my mom would. She said how she was concerned for my health since I was drinking a cup of microwave tea every single day. So she got me a kettle. So I then entered my kettle lark. I looked it up and it seems like microwaving tea is pretty much harmless, but I was fine with using a kettle anyway. I'd say that it tasted a bit better. Probably better for more even heating too, but definitely less efficient. However, efficiency was regained upon getting a water dispenser. In an instant, I can have access to hot water, and it doesn't suffer from the downsides of a microwave or kettle. Peak efficiency was achieved, and I think this could be considered the true start to my tea enjoyment era. I know it's best to be certain teas at specific temperatures, and a water dispenser isn't going to allow that precision, but I drank microwave tea for probably over a year. You already know that my standards are low. I will not be able to taste the difference. Now, I'm going to listen to my favorite teas and then elaborate on them afterwards. Honey Ginseng, Yorkshire Gold, Peach Blossom, Gunpowder, and Earl Grayer. I definitely tried and liked more teas than that. Those were just the most memorable ones. Peach Blossom Oolong I was given as a Christmas gift, and the same year I had a tea advent calendar, which had a lot of fruit-based teas that I didn't like, like berry tea, cherry tea, peach tea, that kind of thing. So when I got Peach Blossom, I foolishly focused solely on the word peach, and I assumed that wasn't going to be my cup of tea, but then I tried and I realized that it's great. That same Christmas, I also got Earl Grey tea as a gift, and now those are my two main teas. It was a very eventful Christmas. Gunpowder tea, I think I just started drinking because that's a really cool name. But it's actually great too. Restaurant near me sells it, and now it's my go-to whenever I go there. At home, the main teas I drink are from the Republic of Tea. I think the reason I get tea from them is just because I really like their honey ginseng. So I started trying some other teas from them as well. Maybe they suck in comparison to other options. I don't know. Feel free to recommend alternatives. But I think they make some great tea. Besides vanilla almond. Vanilla almond is the one piece anime of tea. And for how I like my tea prepared, usually I drink it raw. No sugar, honey, or anything added. The only thing I need for tea is warm fluid with a tea bag. I'll drink anything. However, with coffee, I'm the complete opposite. You know that coffee dessert meme? I'll put it on the screen. That's literally metaphorically me. Coffee is a dessert and it's great. And I drink both coffee and tea with peak efficiency. When you get a drink, how long does it last you? A half an hour maybe, probably at most an hour if you forget to drink it or if you really take your time. But for me, I sometimes drink the same coffee or tea over the span of seven hours. And I've achieved this by repeatedly adding hot water to it whenever it reaches the halfway point. Previously, I mentioned how I didn't like my iced tea getting watery, so you think that I'd be against this advanced strategy, but no. I don't find that it gets too noticeably watery. I usually leave the tea bag in, and then let the iced tea, the tea I'm refilling, doesn't have sugar in it, so I think that's another reason I don't notice it as much. Although after 7 hours of refilling, it'll definitely become noticeable, so I'd recommend stopping a bit sooner than that. You should leave the especially advanced strategies to the professionals. And for the coffee, it absolutely tastes watery after the third or fourth refill, but it's still good. I'd rather drink watery coffee than finish it in half an hour. Honestly, I might just like having warm liquid to sip from. I have just drank plain hot water before. And that was the video. I thought this would be a fun, simple video to make before I work on a larger thing that I have planned. Hopefully it was entertaining. I don't know if my charisma is enough to pull off this type of video. There are some YouTubers that are able to talk about anything and still have to be entertaining. Like Krindle, for example. I watched a video where he talks about beaches in World of Warcraft, and I loved it. Despite the fact that I've never played World of Warcraft. And I don't like sand. That's it.